Okay guys, so this video is going to be a lot longer than the other one. I'm going to cover the first couple of days of playing and what my goals were and how I've kind of achieved these things. So as you can see, I've been logged in for a total of two days and almost seven hours. I'm level 60 at the moment. In terms of where my gear is at, it's in a pretty solid place. It's almost full pen to Vala. And um, there's a reason why some of these pieces aren't pen and I'll go into that in um, the next video where I'm going to cover what my plans are for the rest of my gear and kind of explain why this is almost where I'm going to stop enhancing gear for the season server. Um, getting to this point, again, I want to cover that in a video in itself because the way that I enhance Tavala isn't necessarily the way that people would recommend. And people will often tell me that that's wrong and you shouldn't do it that way. Um, but the main goal of doing this was to just get to this point in gear as soon as possible so that I was able to grind the places that I wanted to. Now, all I did from day one is I started off on the original leveling route. So starting off at the stone chamber and progressed all the way through the story. So doing Balanos, Serendia, um, Calfian, and then all the way through to the end of Medaya. And I stopped at the end of Medaya. And the reason that I did this is for the free pets that you get. You get a pet for the end of each region. So the end of Balanos, Serendia, then again at Calfian and um, Medaya. And these pets were used specifically to enhance to where I'm at at the moment. Now, just to cover pets, for those of you that don't know, pets loot for you. They're a huge part of Black Desert, and it used to be a big topic of discussion on how it was paid to win, because to upgrade your pets, you needed to buy more pets. You can get them off the central market, and they do actually sell surprisingly frequently. You've just got to know which ones to pick. But ultimately, the goal that you want to get to, if possible, and if you're starting right now, it's really simple, and that's to get all of these pets to Tier 3, and then have a tier four. This tier four, you're gonna be able to turn into a tier five pet and make this your alpha pet. And that's gonna increase the pickup speed of all of these um, by 15%. You also used to need to level these pets up to max. Um, you don't need to worry about doing that anymore. They get their full pickup speed from their base level. So you don't have to worry about ever maxing this out at all. The one thing that you do want to do is make sure that your pets, when you take them out, are set to agile so that they pick up at their fastest speed. It does drain their um, their hunger level and you do need to feed them more often, but they always want to be on agile anyway. So this was one of my main goals, to get these pets to tier three and to have a tier four pet ready for the tier five that you can do at level 60. This again plays into why I pushed for level 60 as quickly as I possibly could. Um, all of these pets I got through in-game methods. So I got all of the pets for completing the regions I got two pets for joining a guild because of the current event that's on. Um, I also then got pets from the currencies that are currently available. So the Festa coin, I bought the Young Dragon Surprise, and that came out at tier two. And then also for the season pass, um, bearing in mind I've not bought the season pass, you get the summer seals. And if you look down there, it'll give you choose your pet box for 20. Um, further to this, because of the Cuckoo Bird being an event pet, um, meaning that you can only exchange it with other event pets. I bought the Cookie Bird from the loyalty shop. Um, if you go to the pearl shop, you'll see under loyalties, there's tons of things that you can buy with your loyalties. Um, I bought the Cookie Bird and also the 530% experience scrolls. You only get 53 of these per account, so you want to make sure you buy these um, and definitely save them for when you're starting to progress levels. With the current leveling um experience event though it's it's not a big deal there's a thousand percent experience bonus it's huge you level so quickly it, it's unreal um but yeah that was one of the main goals was to get the pets sorted that's something i could take off my box i'm happy with it where they are except for this cuckoo bird who is incredibly stubborn i'll be doing a video or a show or something that you'll get to see just how stubborn this bird's been and why he's still at tier two um i am going to be buying pets from the central marketplace um these are kind of just you have to you have to put a pre-order on them and you just have to wait for it to get filled now there is a way if you go to garmoth.com and you're you're a, you pay for the the premium service you can actually see roughly how long it'll take and which ones are selling most frequently and that's huge if you have somebody that can give you that information like i do thanks to one of my friends at play then you can target these specific pets so i will be doing that the second goal that I had was to get my gear to the point that it's at, which is Tabala, um, at pretty much full pen. Now, to start with, you're going to have narrow gear as you progress through the main storyline. 
you just smash stones into that. You will have so many by the end of Medaya that it's almost impossible not to have full pen narrow. Ignore the accessories. Don't touch narrow accessories. You do not need to touch them at all. It's a waste of time. Um, just focus on your weapons and your armor pieces. Get them to pen and you'll be able to turn them into Pride of Valor, which is going to help with then skipping through the enhancing and getting your gear to where it needs to be for the end of the season. So that was the second goal that I had, was to get my gear to this level, get into level 60. Those two things kind of went hand in hand, so that wasn't a big deal. Um, from that point, I wanted to work out where I was going to be progressing my gear next after season. I'll go into this a little bit more detail in a video where I cover my enhancing of the Tavala and why I've stopped here. But essentially, there's a couple of things that you need to know. One of which is once you finish the season, you will get access to um, one of the season rewards. And one of them is to get a pen Kaposha necklace. Definitely, if you're a new player, that is the one that you should pick is the pen Tavala necklace. This then leaves a couple of other slots. We kind of disregard our earrings and we just deal with having Pentavala. We're missing out on the big AP items, which are the belts and the rings, other than the necklace. So for the rings, we're currently able to get um, a Pencaposha, or a Tricaposha, sorry. Um, you can pick this up from the event and then with items that you get each day, Dreamy Crystals, you need 21 in total and it will guarantee that you get that ring to pen. You can also fish at the moment for an item and you can just AFK fish. You'll get a fishing rod as part of the quest line. And then what you're looking for is to use basically Fugo's fishing rod. You just fish AFK um, and you're going to be looking to pick up these golden fish. Now, once you've got enough of them, you can use these to get Dreamy Crystals of Balance. If you look on there, you can do this three times. So you need 75 in total, and that will give you 21 of these. So you get 21 from here, and then you get 21 from the event as well. Um, now, one thing that's worth noting is from this special accessory growth, I would take the belt, not the ring. And there's a reason for this and the reason why I'm doing this. So you take the belt and you use 21 stones to get it to pen. Now, what you'll find is you can get another accessory when you start to level. However, these get really higher up, so 62, 63, 64. So we take the ring at 62 rather than waiting to get the belt at 64. It just makes it a lot easier to do it this way. Then you use the fishing to get another 21 stones and make the ring pen. So what you'll find is that by the time we finish the season, although we can't use them right now, we will have a Penka Potion necklace from finishing the season a pen Kaposha belt from accepting the event, um, the, the event belt and using the event stones. And then we'll have a Kaposha ring once we hit 62 and we use another 21 of the stones to upgrade that. The last ring will be doing a daily quest. It's going to take us about 50 days to, to do this in total, but there is a couple of ways we can speed this up. I'm going to cover Jatina's guaranteed pens in a video specifically for this because there's a couple of items we're going for and there's a reason why we're going for those. But ultimately, this was to the position I wanted to be in at the end of the first week. I'm not going to graduate from Seasons. I'm going to stay on the Season server. And the reason for it is time-filled Blackstones. You can turn um, 300 of these in for item collection scrolls. And these are huge. You're going to want to use these whenever you're grinding. So being able to effectively farm these rather than waiting for them from events or getting them through loyalties or getting them one a day from the value pack. Um, this is going to be basically a way of funneling these in. I'm going to be selling off the ores. I'm going to be selling off the um, the refines because they're decent money as well. And it's going to all add up to where we're going to. The last thing that I wanted to touch is obviously this is being a free to play account. Now, one of the main things that's going to hinder a free to play account is going to be the value pack. However, we start off with 15 days and then as you're progressing, you'll get another seven days or something for requests. So at least for the first month, you're perfectly fine. Again, things like the Camus Sylvia's Blessings and the Old Moon Book, these are all things that I've, I've got from just playing. So the five days of the Secret Old Moon Book, these are all just from playing. You don't need to worry about those at this point in time. Again, that's something we'll touch on later on into the series. I'm very aware that this video has been going on for quite a while so far. So I just wanted to cover where I'm up to at the moment. This is before the live stream start. I wanted to get to this point and explain what my goals were. From here now we're at level 60. The goal is going to change to being more long term. So 
I'll go over the gear progression that I'm looking at after the season finishes or want, or things that I can do now ready for when the season finishes. We're also going to be looking at doing the journals, which are basically free stats, but they are quite involved. They're tedious. They do take a lot of time. So I'm going to cover those off in a video as well. And then I'm also going to explain things like, um, for people that are already familiar with the game, your fairies that you're going to want to, to progress and how you do that as a free-to-play player. Looking at getting the alpha pet, again, all free-to-play. And then where to grind and, and what we're looking at in terms of purchases for progressing the account and moving forwards with gear. Thankfully, by the time we finish the season, we'll already be at, at what's considered kind of the soft cap or have access to the first tier of node wars, which are capped at that level of gear anyway. So we're going to be able to have some fun there. Um, I'm hoping to set up a guild and mess about with some node wars. So people that are struggling to find groups or struggling to find guilds to go into those node wars, come shoot by the stream, join the Discord and you'll you'll be able to get involved there. And I'm also going to be looking at the other group content. Anyway, I didn't want this video to drag on too long because I've got a lot more planned. Um, like I said, I want to set individual goals. So there's going to be a lot of kind of smaller videos, more targeted on specific things that I'm going to be doing, like um, my enhancing, like my um, progression through the journals and what I'm prioritizing over the next seven days. Um, we're lucky in the sense that I've just started after or a day before a server reset. So the position I'm in at the moment will be slightly elevated from where it could have been. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cover in the next video the dailies and everything that I do on a day-to-day -day basis so that you can kind of stay on top of things as we're progressing. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.